What's going on guys, it's Jason Thrift Trader and today I wanted to come back to you with another video. This is a little bit different going back a little bit to my roots, okay guys? But this is geared to every e-commerce seller, okay guys? Anybody that sells on eBay, anybody that sells on Poshmark. Today we're going to cover 10 men's shoe brands that are selling for good money that you should be looking for in the thrift store and at yard sales. So please, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So let's get right to it. All right, guys, let's take a look at 10 heavy hitting brands and men's shoes pre owned that you can sell on eBay. And Places that you can find these, you can find them at thrift stores, you can find them at garage sales. Okay, guys, if you pick up these brands, you're guaranteed to make money. All right, so let's just dive into it. All right, so the first brand is Filson, also known as CC Filson. Um, this brand in particular, if you could see, uh, pretty good prices and this is all uh, we've got 80 results pre-owned okay let let's take a look at some of these uh, Filson Danner okay so Filson and Danner have collaborated uh, Sebago or Sebago I don't even know how it's said but uh, Filson Sebago uh, Wolverine is another one that they have uh, paired up with as well see here's Wolverine and these people are getting some pretty good money out of used boots. All right, let's look here. Um, let's go to sort by price plus shipping highest first, just to look. Uh, these are best offer two thirty five for sure, two hundred thirty five dollars. That's pretty amazing. Um, and the cheapest uh, looks to me like. Twenty-four bucks. So you can pick these up for three, four, five dollars. You're going to make a bunch of money. Uh, so that is something to look at. Now here's uh, a particular way that I use to source, um, find, um, find what items actually sell very quickly. All right. So we have eighty active results in sold listings. Now we know eBay. Um, gives us sold listings for the past 90 days. All right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put 80 divided by three because that's per month. So we're selling about 26.66 items per month. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to um, Un we'll uncheck sold. This is going to give us the active number of listings currently available. There's only 41. All right. So we're going to take that, divide that by 41, and that gives us a 65% sell sell through rate per month. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, just to give an average of how many days it'll take for us to get to a hundred percent. Okay. Um, we're going to divide this by 30. So now we're at, uh, um, here, I'll multiply this by 100, 2.16% per day sell. All right. So now what we're going to do is um, we'll do 100 divided by 2.16, and that is the number of days that it'll take on average. Um, for you to sell this pair of shoes um, within market average price, okay? And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. Uh, forty-six days, so it'll take you approximately forty-six days at the most, um, give or take, to sell a pair of shoes for this brand. So Filson is one of them. All right, next is Christian Louboutin. 
Uh, personally, I have never found these in the thrift store, uh, but I also never knew to look for them either. So this is a pretty magnificent brand. Uh, mostly, they deal in dress shoes. They also deal in um, in streetwear as well. But obviously, you can see the prices on these are pretty magnificent. Uh, we're looking at. 200, 3, 4, 500, even more than that. This is all pre owned, guys. All right. So we have 700 active, uh, active sold, or I'm sorry, 700 sold listings. 700 divided by 3, 233 listings sold per month. All right. Now let's go uncheck sold. We have 718. Divide that by 718, 32% sell every month. All right. So now we'll divide that by 30 times 100. That's 1.08% sell every day. So we'll do 100 divided by 1.08. So an average of 92 days. So you're looking at an average, you'll get a sell pretty much every three months and uh, that was some uh, phenomenal sales prices guys uh, let's look at this again I'm gonna go to sold listings and we're gonna go just for giggles price plus shipping highest first alright wow thirteen hundred dollars for these wow 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 that's ridiculous who in the heck Wow. All right. Next, Cougar Paws, and uh, this is actually a uh, a very niche uh, boot. Uh, it's actually made specifically for roofing, and uh, they sell very well. So if you find a pair of these, I mean, you know, you're gonna you're gonna make money. Um, let's look at price plus shipping highest first. And uh, here, here's a pair. Looks like two pair for one hundred seventy dollars. Here's a pair for one hundred and fifty bucks, including shipping. One thirty-five, one twelve. So all of these, a lot of these, are over the hundred dollar mark. I mean, even down here, we're at one hundred and eleven dollars with the, with shipping included. So a lot of these are over the hundred dollar mark. Fifty-eight sold results and three active results so there you go there you have it this I don't even need to use the calculator it's obvious that they'll sell very very quickly very quickly but just out of giggles let's look 58 divided by 3 19 sell every month on average and there's only three active okay so that would be like uh, 644 percent sell through rate <laughs> so you're good you're good um, that's amazing so cougar paws if you find those at a yard sale pick them up next is a bathing ape and uh, this brand has been around for a really long time um, their hoodies sell very well as well um, Streetwear is really what it is. And uh, we have 148 uh, sold listings, so about 50 a month. And you can obviously see the prices here are pretty ridiculous. $400 for that pair. Let's see what the most expensive pair was. Oh, see, now we got 149 Um we don't know what this sold for. That could be that's that's pretty wild. But nine hundred twenty-five dollars for this pair right here, pretty crazy. So one hundred and forty-nine. It's like fifty. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and look at how many are active. There's three hundred seventeen active. So I can already tell you it's going to be about six months. Um, divide by 
317. So 15 percent every uh, 30 days. Divide that by 30. All right, and then multiply that by 100. So that's um, half a percent per day. Okay, and uh, we'll do 100 divided by 0.52 be about 192 days which is 180 days is six months so give or take around six months at most to sell this this pair of shoes the goal here is to find items uh, well high dollar items it doesn't matter like if I can pay five dollars for a pair of shoes it's gonna sell for 400 I don't mind waiting six months okay but if I'm buying a pair of shoes to sell it for 30 or 40 or 50 dollars I would like to be able to sell them within three months or so, but the bigger the profit margin, the longer uh, I'm willing to wait for the sale. And that's why I showed this pair or this brand to you today. All right, so next is a brand called Carmina. And uh, it looks to me like these are a lot of dress shoes here. Uh, it must be a dress shoe brand. Uh, we have 109 sold results in the past 90 days. Let's look at price plus shipping highest first. Uh, let's see here. These are all best offers. Here's here's a pair for $450. So we know, at least we know that the highest priced item was $450. Bucks. So we've got 110 sold in 90 days in three months so we'll divide it by three that's 36 uh, shoes sold every month so around one pair a day and how many are active currently we have 75 active alright so we'll divide that by 75 so we're looking at about a 48 percent sell through rate so I can already tell you right now that it's gonna take approximately give or take around two months to sell this pair of shoes if you're given uh, if you're if you have it uh, listed at fair market value okay uh, so that's kind of how I determine like I said how I determine um, just how in demand an item is before I even buy it and this is something that you can do uh, right there on your on your phone when you're looking something up you can look you can judge by the number sold versus the number active and that's going to give you a really good indication at least within the past three months of how how in demand this item is all right so next is uh, Come de Garcon Garcon I don't know Garcones Garcons I'm not even going to try anymore uh, this brand also did uh, a lot of collaboration with Converse as you can tell okay um, there's 385 sold results here um, let's look at the prices here just highest first just for giggles here um, these are best offers I'm looking for one that's not best offer to get an idea here uh, right here and this was from Australia so uh, around two hundred seventy dollars or two hundred and sixty here's a pair two hundred and fifty here and they obviously did collaborations with Nike as well so um, that's something to really look into is if you find if you find shoes that have like more than one brand attached to it I mean they're collaboration brands uh, or like a collaboration pair of shoes. I mean more more times than not they're going to be worth something So definitely look into those. All right, so 384 384 And we're gonna divide that by three. That's 128 pairs sold per month and how many do we have currently active? 245 so we'll divide that by 245, 52%. All right, so 52%, you're looking at around 60 days, give or take, in order to sell it. And uh, obviously, you're going to get some good money from it. So definitely 
look for this brand. All right, the next is Arcteryx. Arcteryx is an athletic shoe. A lot of it has to do with hiking. Um, so this is a very good brand, not only in the shoe category, but in the clothing category as well. Um, same with Filson. But um, obviously we can see these prices are anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks, uh, some even more. Let me see what I've got on my list here as far as prices. Uh, I've got it down that the average sales price is about $120. So not too shabby. Of course it doesn't it doesn't seem that way. My list was made about a year ago. So they may have come down in price, but they're still a good buy. Uh see, well, here we go. 155, 130. Um I said here that uh Price okay. Price ranges from fifty-five to one seventy-five. So that's where the middle of the road was was around one twenty. Um, but obviously the price range, it's still around sixty, seventy bucks, uh, maybe more than that. But uh, we've got fifty-two sold. Fifty-two divided by three. We're at seventeen per month, and. looks to me like we've got only 20 active listings in men's shoes pre-owned uh, so we'll go to we'll divide that by 20 there you go 86 percent so you're looking at like a month month and a half at most uh, to get rid of this pair as long as you're priced within market range all right fear of God is another brand that did a lot of collaborations of course with Converse as we can see here um, Nike Converse um, mil the military uh, military wear Vans so this particular brand does a lot of collab with other brands Nike Converse Vans um, and the prices are everywhere but they're expensive very expensive so we have 362 active or I'm sorry 362 sold results that's 120 pair per month okay now we're going to uh, take a look at how many are 198 active okay so that's 60 percent uh, monthly Divide that by 30, we're at 2%. And then we're going to do 100 divided by 2, so it'll be like 50, 50 days. 50 days. So you're looking at like, what is that, a month and three weeks, seven, seven weeks. Uh, so that's not bad, 50 days, and you're looking at around 150, 200 bucks. Uh, easy pickup. Looks like Louis Vuitton uh, was also one of the brands that collabed with as well. Blundstone uh, is another brand, men's shoe brand that you should be looking out for. Okay, Blundstone, uh, 378 sold listings in the past 90 days. That's huge. That's a lot. 378 divided by 3. We're looking at 126 a uh, month. And obviously, these are pre-owned, and uh, it looks to me, by the photographs here, and the person, see, shoes and fashions, shoes and fashions, shoes and fashions, this person obviously either has a wholesaler, or they picked them up in uh, Amazon return pallets, something of that sort, and that's where they're getting their items, um, which would not surprise me at all. And um, see, here they are again. They're obviously really familiar with this brand. They're everywhere here. Okay. But you can see the prices. The prices are pretty good. You know, 40, 50, 60 bucks. Let's see, 378 
and let's look at how many are active right now. There's 161 active. That is when you know you have a really, really good brand. All right, so we'll divide this by 161. Look at there, 78% of the available stock on eBay is selling every single month. All right, so that's, that is a no-brainer, okay? This is the kind of stuff that I look for in thrift stores, and I try not to mess with anything else, really. I like, I like seeing, you know, 30, 40 percent or better selling every single month. That's my, that's my go-to, and I'm also looking for 35, 40 dollar plus items as well. So it has to be above 30 dollars. It has to be above 30 percent, and it has to, and and at that point, um, I like to pick it up at 10 percent cost. That's really where I like to stay um, when I'm sourcing at thrift stores for items to resell. Alright, so another brand is Danner, D-E-H-N-E-R. And uh, these look like they're patrol, like motorcycle riding boots, uh, patrol boots, police boots. Um, they seem to be pretty well, uh, very niche specific as to what these uh, boots are, are used for or what they're geared for um, moto boots patrol boots things of that sort so we have 36 sold results alright so that's what 12 it's gonna be 12 12 sold every month and obviously the prices are great I mean shoot this pair right here sold for nine hundred sixty dollars ridiculous and right here we've got 19 results active so we'll do this 19 63 percent all right we'll divide that by 30 um, times 100 that's 2.1 so 100 divided by 2.1 47 days so that's about um, that is about 47 days that's a month and a half and it should be gone out the door out the door um, that's crazy that's absolutely crazy well guys there you have it I mean I tried to make it as quick as painless as short as possible and I hope you learned something today 10 awesome men's shoe brands that you should be selling on eBay in 2019 that is what it all chalks down to so guys if you incorporate this style of research you're going to succeed especially if you're going to thrift stores and buying stuff Try to narrow it down what you're buying. Try to find, try to only buy items that you know you can move more quickly, or that are going to make you more money. Because at the end of the time, at the end of the day, time is money. All right, and you don't want to just go out there and spend a bunch of money on things that are going to sit forever. That's not how you. Uh, I mean, that's that's not how I like to run my business. There's businesses out there. There's 200 million ways to skin a cat, but that is just simply not how I like to run my business. I like efficiency. I like selling things on eBay that are going to move quickly and move for a good profit. That's what I like. I don't, I don't like having a 3,000 item store and be able to brag about having a three or 4,000 item store. I don't care about how many items you have in your store. I want to, I want to know how many items you're selling. Because at the end of the day, we're not in the storage business. We're in the selling business. And if you're stacking your shop with 3,000 items that you've got listed on eBay and you're only selling 100 a month, something is wrong. And that that's really what it boils down to, guys. But anyways, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's going to be plenty more of these uh, killer brand videos that you guys should be looking for. I enjoy doing research. I enjoy sharing these bolos. So definitely look out for them. And until next time, guys, keep on picking that trash and making that cash. We'll catch y'all later. Built an empire of stars, as the bridges were falling.